to give thanks to the Lord for answering our prayers and our Lead us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. Yes, are we ready to praise the name of God? Yes. yes, let's praise God with this song. Hallelujah. Ah! Uh -huh. 
This evening. Oh, it's okay. Amen. Amen. Yes, can somebody stand up and tell us why we are here tonight? No, I don't want chorus answer. Just stand up and tell us why we are gathered here tonight. Yes. I want somebody to stand up. Yes. Why are we here tonight? We are here for marriage, for testimony of Sister Ike. Only Sister Ike? Sister Ike and who? Sister Ike and who? Okay. It's okay. Amen. Let's all have a seat. Everybody be seated. Be seated. I don't want to see anybody on the, by the window. Please sit down. Go to the hall and sit down. Ushers, make sure everybody is in the hall. Amen. Yes. We are here for... We want to hear the testimony of Brother Victor and Sister Ike. Amen. Yes. We want to know how how they came together, right? Eh? Okay. I think Brother Vito is seated there. Brother Vito, please, can you come over this way? <laughs> Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Brother Vito, you are welcome. How are you? Uh, please, can you tell everybody why you are here tonight? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are here to share a testimony with you people. You are who? No, don't clap yet. He, has, he said we are here and he's standing alone. You are who? Myself and Sister Ike. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is your Sister Ike here? Is your Sister Ike here? Please go and get the Sister Ike for us. Give us a minute. Brother Victor said you are here to testify. And it's both of you that want to testify. Is, he, is, is that so? Yes, ma'am. Huh? Yes. Did you hear her? Yes. Is that so? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, so sit down. We'll hear your testimony. Praise the Lord. Testimony night is the time that both the brother and the sister that are about to marry, we had to share with everyone how God brought them together. Amen. Amen. How God showed them to each other. Anyway, I know many of you have questions. Amen. Amen. But before then, before they start sharing their testimony, we are going to look at a place, a very popular place in the book of Hebrews. Amen. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. 
We're not going to waste much time here. We're going to spend a little time here tonight. Amen. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Are we there? Okay, we're going to read it together. After I want to go. Marriage is honorable in all. And the bed on the fair. But warmongers and adulterers, God we judge. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have you ever seen people? Because they committed adultery and the girl became fornication and the girl became pregnant. Will you see people gather like this? People, people of God shouting, happy, dancing. Will you see it? This is honor. God honors marriage. God does what? God does what? Honors marriage. Because God honors it, that is why we also do what? Honor it. Anyway, you are going to hear from them. And then you will really know that. Godly marriage is honorable. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is honor in it. When you don't live in fornication, fornication, life of fornication does not bring honor. The life of fornication does not bring honor like this. It brings shame. It brings fight. Quarrel. And above all, it makes you to become an enemy of God. That is why you must marry in a honorable way like this. You must not defy your bed. You must not live in fornication. You must not spoil your life. You must not destroy your life with boys and with girls that you are not married to. Keep yourself pure. And a day will come. Everybody will gather for you like this. If you believe in say amen. I say if you believe in say amen. If you want people to gather like this for you one day, rise up and begin to pray. Pray for yourself. No matter how, maybe you have made a mistake before. Tell the Lord to forgive you and make your life to be, begin to live pure. And make you to begin to live a life that will bring glory to God. And that one day your life, your marriage will bring glory to God like this. It will be honorable. I want you to pray. Pray for yourself. You that is here because of them, begin to pray for yourself. You that is a mother, a father, pray for your children. That God, as I have come to the testimony night of Sister Ike and Brother Victor, Yes, Lord, I will live a holy life from today. I will live a pure life. I will not live a life of fornication. I will marry in a honorable way. Pray. Pray, pray. There is honor in godly marriage. There is honor in it. I want you to pray that your life, you will live a godly life. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray. Lord, praying especially for those that are not married. The Lord, they will desire a godly marriage. They will live a godly life be able one day to marry in a godly way and have a honorable marriage in Jesus name Lord that even as your children testify Lord those that have made mistakes before they will correct their errors in the name of Jesus thank you Father in Jesus name we pray Amen you may be seated. Praise the Lord. I know many of us have questions, but we are going to entertain just few questions. 
Praise the Lord. Just a few questions. I'm going to ask your question. You can direct it to Brother Victor. You can direct it to Sister I.K. Praise the Lord. Amen. And God bless I will be, be the first to ask a question. Okay. First to Brother Victor. You are smiling today. We can understand. I heard when they were singing just now. I could see that you were brimming with smile and uh, expectation. Wanting this thing to wrap up on time and let tomorrow come. So that you are joined together and you go home with your wife. That is, that is a great honor. Please, how did all this come about? How did you know that Sister I.K. is the one God wants you to marry and to live the re remaining part of your life on earth with? Over to you. Praise the Lord. I will not waste time. I will go straight to the question. So how I got to know that she is the right person for me was that since for many years ago, I've been, I've been praying for a suitable life partner. This is awesome! <laughs> because... I didn't want to make mistakes and suffer what people that are not Christians suffered. So because of that, I've been asking God that he should give me somebody that is compatible and uh, suitable for me. So why... Praise the Lord. Why I was praying, so it got to a time I thought maybe God does no longer answer my prayers. Uh, so I, I, I wanted to call our, our pastor, Pastor Solomon. So, but God now reminded me how so many things that I've been praying, he has been answering me. So that now encouraged me. So, and uh, it came to a time that our Father in the Lord also guided me and he gave me counsel how I should pray. So one of those things that he told me is that when you are praying, you don't feast your mind on one person. Or maybe, for instance, you prayed and God showed you somebody, and that person may not be the right person. And so it does not mean that after some time, if God did not show you another person, that you should just feel that that is the, best, the right person for you. So I went through counseling. So I followed the instructions. So one day, I had a revelation. Then I saw her. Two of them, she and somebody. Who is the her? I mean, sorry, Sister I.K. Okay. So, yes, yes, yes. So what happened was that I was, I was using a, this, you know, this machine that they used to uh, during voters' registration, those machines that they used to register uh, voters, legible voters. So I was using names to she and somebody, they came. I mean, Sister I.K. and somebody else, they came. They said they were sent by our father in the law, Pastor Solomon for lunch here, to come and walk with me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This one is after many years I've been praying, though. So, there, when she, when they came, so they, and I said, okay, since you were sent, people should join us. So, me and somebody, they were now working with us. So, now came to a time that I needed to call uh, uh, my father in the law, Pastor Solomon, that the work is going on smoothly and is working fine. So, I opened my eyes. 
So I started asking God, what is the meaning of this dream? So he just told me that she's the right person for me. Praise the Lord. Right person for you to continue doing business or right person for what? For a life partner. Okay. Praise the Lord. Uh, there, there's one thing he said that I want to ask what that meant. According to you, you said you were praying that God should give you somebody. Not just somebody. You used one word. It said suitable. <laughs> Suit. Able. Suit. Able. What come about? What do you mean by that? And if somebody is somebody, I shouldn't expect you to say, I should, I, I thought you would have just prayed, oh, God, give me somebody. That's all. But you said you were praying that God should give you a suit, able, Please explain to us. Praise the Lord. Sorry, sir. I've already answered it. So this is how I answered it before, sir. I said, I see what people that don't know the Lord, what they suffer. So I wouldn't want to suffer such a thing. So I was waiting on the Lord. God it's only you. the person that suits you. The bone of that my was bone. Okay. You have answered it. Thank you. Okay, questions? Okay. Yes. Questions? Somebody's raising up hand there. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My question is that we all gather here that Pro Victor is going to get married. But I don't know the specified Victor. I want Sister Ike to tell us. <laughs> okay uh, please hold on hold on you don't know the victor eh? okay the specified okay but you are seeing somebody here no they want to hear from sister Ike. <laughs> sister Ike, do you understand the question yes that brother really? victor is here he wants to marry Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The only victor I know for now that God has given me to be my husband is He's the one that is sitting, that we are sitting opposite together. Brother. Brother Victor Johnny. And the one that went to pay Okay. Yes. Are you satisfied? Huh? Okay, I'm not satisfied. Are you satisfied? Then we don't understand your question. Huh? Okay, okay. Yes, another another question. Okay, there's a hand here. Sisters. Praise the Lord. Yes, my question is that I want to know that when Brother Victor saw that he's the one that he will marry, I want to know that 
How did she know that is the one that she will, she will marry? That is, that is my question. Okay, praise the Lord. Amen. How did Sister Ike now know that it is Brother Victor that God wants her to marry? Sister Ike, please answer the question. Praise the Lord. For so many years, I was also praying for a life partner. As I continue to pray with the teachings Pastor has been giving to us, I was praying and desiring somebody, not only a husband, somebody that a husband that will, will be friend and a person that will both work for the Lord. That was just my desire. Then, as I continue in prayers, a day came, I was in a revelation. And I saw somebody, I didn't see the person's face. The person was tall, I couldn't see the person's face. And, and I saw that the person was carrying pastor's traveling bag. So when I woke up in that revelation, I was praying. I was asking God the meaning of the revelation. I continued to pray. I didn't get answered then. So as I began to pray, I was praying and praying. Then a day came. I was myself and some my co-intercessors were praying the feet. So as we were praying, that was the day Pastor Ken and Brother Vito and some other persons, they went for mission work at Taraba State. So while I was praying the feed, I heard a voice. Brother Vito is your husband. So then in that revelation, it, it was not a, a close revelation, but I received it in my heart. Then I began to pray. I was asking God, I don't want to make mistake. Is this that the thing just came as taught to me? But I began to pray about it. So as I was praying with the, uh, my pastors that are sitting down here, with their guiding and calling me, uh, teaching and also praying with me, telling me what and what, how God is speaking. So I also share with them. So they put me right, even when I'm trying to go wrong. Then, also, a day came, we were in the fellowship. Brother Vito also passed. That same voice, the voice of the Lord, also told me, this is your husband. But when this voice were coming, I was praying. I said, God, I don't want to make mistake. I need somebody that is very prayerful, that will work for you, that will do this. Then when I began to pray, as I pray and pray and pray, I was telling God, are you, God, is this the right person for me? I was also in a revelation. And I saw that Pastor Ken walked down to me. He gave me two blankets, and the blanket they were the same. So, though in the revelation I was crying, he came to meet me, said, these two blankets I gave to you say, why are you ungrateful? So as he was telling me like that, I woke up. So I began to pray. I was still praying and praying and praying to be sure if I'm going wrong or, or right. So when I began to pray, the Lord told me, he said, you want to dream to see the person inside your dream. But I have spoken to you. I continue to ask God. I said, no. I want to be clear about it. Then the Lord told me. He said, you know the beginning from the end. He said, I know the end from the beginning. Then the Lord began to tell me so many things. Then that is how I continue to pray and pray and pray. Finally, the Lord spoke to my heart that he is the right person for me. Praise the Lord. That charity, are you satisfied? Eh? So you can see that both of them heard from who? From who? Was it they were writing letter? Or Brother Vito wrote letter through a sister to give to Sister Ike? The Sister Ike write letter through another brother to give to Brother Victor. So you can see that who is connecting them together? 
Who? The answer is no. Who is connecting Brother Victor and Stacker to them? Who? Was it their grandmother? Was it their mother? Was it their friend? Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Next question. Make your question very simple and direct. Yes, say hand them. Two more questions and we rise up to pray and, and we close. Tomorrow is Tomorrow is what? Yes, what's your question? Praise the Lord. My question is that is to Sister Ike. My question is that because I have seen some marriages that have been holding for some moment, for some moment and they have got broken. So my question is that, is it that when you see Bra Victor is not having anything, you now say, okay, since this brother is not having anything, so I'll try to leave him or I'll run away. Are you, are you going to do like that? Praise the Lord. I will never do such because before the Lord brought me to him, I told the Lord I'm not looking for property. Neither am I looking for finance. Just only the will of God. And that is what God did for me. So if I get to his house, if I get to his house, he's not having anything. I will join hands with him so that we can have something. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. She is a sister of faith. She has assured us, no matter what, they will pray and heaven will open the windows and pour blessing upon them. Amen. That is how it's supposed to be. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, the last question. The last question. Yes, I can see a hand there. Yes, yes. Your sister ushers. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My question goes to Brother Vito. Okay. Our sister, yes, Sayaki, I've known her for many years. Okay. She does not like trouble. I hope when you get home, you will take care of her, love her. And even if she has different challenges, you will support her and you will not dump her. Praise the Lord. I, I love that question. But does God make mistakes? So I will not do such. I will bless you. Praise the Lord. But Avito has assured us. He's a child of God. A child of God obeys the word of God. And he has said there's not going to be anything like that. Both of them are children of God. Children of God, do they fight? Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. At this point, we are going to round up. Any other question? Huh? Okay, there's somebody raising up hand. The last question. Yes, who is raising up hand there? 
Okay, nobody. Okay, there's a child here, Wasa. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My special God is Brother Victor. Brother Victor, are you sure that you are not going to meet a sister again? Well, voila. Voila. Brother Victor has already answered that now. Why is it that it's only Brother Victor, Brother Victor? Okay, I can understand. Sister Ike has been taking care of you people here. Yes, I understand. So I will answer that. Brother Victor has already answered that. He cannot do that. Are you satisfied? Voila. Okay, please. I'm sure he wants to hear again. Please, will you do that? Yes, sir. I won't do that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet. We are hands of the Father. We are joined hands with the Son. With the Son, we are of the kingdom. We are family. We are, we are heavenly. Yes, of the Father. We are joined heaven. We the song. We the song. We are concerning their life as they enter into the union of the coming one tomorrow. Lord, you will bring your purpose to pass perfectly upon their life in Jesus' name. They stood out and they stood as an example. Mighty God, that their life will become a shining light to them in that. Father, in Jesus' name. And we pray, God, for every single brother and for every single sister that you will keep them, they will endure, they will until you meet them at the point of their need in Jesus' name. Father, that the temptation that comes from Satan and from men of the world, that they will not fall into it in Jesus' name. You will keep them, O oh God, holy and perfect to the end in Jesus' name. 
that one day it will become their part, it will become their time for people to come and jubilate with them and honor them. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we commit tomorrow into your hand. That is the day that we, all of, all of us are expecting. Father, we commit as many that will be traveling from different places. We will bring them here safely. There will be a, a part of what you are going to do tomorrow. And at the end of the day, your name alone will be glorified. Whatever is remaining, Lord, you are the great provider. Provide for them, O oh God, to complete everything that your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' name we pray. And let the saints of God say amen. Praise the Lord. We are going to collect offering. We call it finishing touches. For them, whatever offering we collect this evening will be used as a part of tomorrow's uh, preparation. Praise the Lord. So put something, put your hand in your pocket and bring something beautiful. And the Lord will turn your life to become beautiful. Can we put our hand and we we'll pray? Hallelujah. Lift up your offering as you pray. Father, in Jesus' name, as we give, O oh God, to this honorable thing that you are doing, we ask, Lord, that our life will become life of honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. So please give your offering. of tomorrow. The marriage program starts by 10 tomorrow. The wedding proper starts by 10 tomorrow. God bless you. Don't come late. If you come late, you will not have seat to sit down. God bless you.